Alright people, welcome to the deck profile for Normal Pendulum. So, uh, this deck was pretty fun, pretty decent. Uh, but it's time to go off. I need a much stronger deck. And this deck is, uh, kind of weak. It gets stopped really easily. And, um, yeah, this, you know, I tried Ignites too. So, you'll be getting two deck profiles and two episodes of Daily Duels, two tag duels with, uh, Stu and Stanzi using the new deck that will be replacing this deck, of course, being... Cyber Dragons that we've been testing on webcam duels. So, uh, let's go ahead and give this deck this deck profile, ignite their deck profile, and move on. So, starting off, of course, we have Triple Flash Knight, Flash Knight, uh, scale 7, just an 1800 beater. Now that I go into the deck, because they don't have any effects, so, yep. Uh, Lance, Lance of, Lance for, Lance, alright, Lance, of Lance here. Uh, it's the main monster, mostly go into. Uh, nice 25 attack and then it's pendulum scale effect is that uh, my normal monsters get pierced I generally don't put them in the zone on the scale, but when he does, you know, give my all my normal monsters pierce is not bad And we run uh, triple um, dragon horn hunter uh, Mostly he's just another six so I don't really like to go into like sixes and stuff, but he has nice 23 uh, Attack totally fine nice beater when pendulum summon his effect when he's in the pendulum scale is that uh, all my Normal monsters gain 200 attack, and I take no battle damage from battling only normal monsters. So, uh, if I have a million skill and I summon another one, then he's at 2500, the attack barrier. So, you know, not bad. Uh, I run two, only two fault cannon. Uh, I felt like I didn't need cannon as much as the other ones. I thought the other ones were more important. Um, it's five, and sometimes I go into fives, but not often. Uh, it's a fact that during the end phase this card is activated, so pretty much when it's put in the scale, I can target a face up spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. So, you know, if my opponent has some pesky field spell or continual spell or trap on the field, I can just go ahead and put him in the scale and then bam, blow it up during the end phase. So, uh, it's kind of slow, but not terrible. Next, we run uh, Triple Mandragon. Uh, I prefer Mandragon over Cannon. It has a 25 body. It doesn't have any pendulum effect, but uh, it's also scale 2, and, uh, you know, it's a nice 25 beater. And it's really ugly, so, yeah. <laughs> and we have, like, pretty much the leader of the deck, Dragoons of Draconia. So, uh, once per turn, if a normal monster you control is destroyed by battle... I mean, uh, once per turn, if a normal monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation, I can add a level 4 or a higher normal monster from my deck to my hand. So, I pretty much just get the plus for him being in the scale, so, not bad. Um, I was thinking of playing, like, C Dragoons of Draconia. I guess he's not on here. I thought that's what it was called. Let me see. Dragoons. I guess he's not on here. You know. I said that's probably the reason why they put him in the deck. Because I guess he's not on here yet. But yeah. There's that uh, other one. The Sea Dragoon, Dragoons of Draconia. But I don't think he's as good as this guy. And I only run uh, two Door Dragon. To pretty much have uh, a scale 7. To go with the two, the two cannons. Because I didn't want to like overload with too many 2s. Or too many 7s. So I wanted to make it even. So I dropped cannon down to 2. To drop Dora Dragon down to Dora Dragon's not that useful. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna be summoning him in attack mode and beating you with him. So you know, it's just scale seven. It was twenty on booty, but I, you know, I don't care. So yeah. Next, oh, and then, oh, that's all the monsters. Nineteen monsters, not bad. But more, there's way really in our spec. There's more because this deck has high searchability. So um, of course we're running Tanky. Tanky searches for Dracoons and Draconia, the main guy. Uh, we have Summer's Art, which can search for Lance. Uh, Dragon One Hunter, Cannon, Man Dragon, like this card, it just searches. Rota, yeah, Rota just for uh, Flash Knight, because consistency, and Fossil Dig just for Lance, because he's also one of the main monsters, and I like high consistency. Uh, run two uh, Dark Factory of Mass Production, because if I exceed and I detach, then they go to the grave, so I can go ahead and mass, uh, you know, mass production them back to my hand. Uh, of course, I'm going to come back. I uh, just wanted to, you know, introduce all of the switcher cards first. We got Polly. Uh, at first, I was running Fusion Substitute, but then that card was... Uh, pretty much, if I didn't have the monster on the field, I couldn't even fuse, you know? So, if I didn't open up my Pendulum Scales or something, I opened up with two normal monsters, but no way to Pendulum something into the field, I couldn't even do anything. So, at least with Polly, sure, uh, you know, the monsters uh, go to the grave instead of, you know... But at least I get a powerful first to dragon. But if they are on the field, then it works just like uh, Fusion Substitute, except... You know, I don't get to go ahead and banish Fusion Substitute to draw a card. So, I'd rather be able to poly and fuse the monsters from my hand than, you know, kind of plus even out 
off of uh, losing my first to dragons. Anyway, the one regeki because we get swarmed, so it's nice to go ahead and be able to throw the regeki at our opponent, and then of course throw out a crease. Uh, extra deck wise, Exiton, uh, of course, Heartland because why not? <laughs> one on one. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Castells. I don't know. I don't access extra deck that much. You know, should be a cowboy in here if I'm gonna do that. And Dark Rebellion. Uh, there's some sixes, so photon strike. Uh, these two are, you know, these are dinosaurs. So I have two of them. Then I can actually go into uh, Soda, and Soda is pretty powerful. Can be destroyed my opponent. Okay, can be destroyed by card effects as long as it's material. And then my opponent special summons a monster, inherent summon. I can monster monsters, inherent summon. I can attach a key material, destroy that monster, monster. So literally, if I have this guy on the field and I'm going against Cleese and my pendulum summon a whole bunch, I just be like, detach. Go to the grave. Like, powerful, powerful. Uh, M7, another 6. Uh, Volk, I have some 5, so Volk is my go to 5. Uh, Charger, slap it on top, go for game. And then my first of dragons, who are so awesome if you can actually get them all. Uh, if you guys don't know, this card cannot be destroyed in battle except with normal monsters and is unaffected by other monster effects. So, pretty much, this plus Royal Decree, uh, you better hope that you get a Rejecki because it's uh, so, so powerful. And, uh, yep, there you go. So there's normal pendulum. So you guys can go ahead and try the deck out yourself. Make changes. If you want to make suggestions, go ahead. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile of normal pendulum. And I hope you guys enjoyed the time that it was on Daily Duels. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And if I haven't seen you guys in the deck profile for Ignites, I will see you guys uh, later today using uh, Cyber Dragons and tagging with Stanzi and uh, Stu. All right, people. Thanks for watching.